This pedal is legendary amongst guitar pedal nerds. This is the pedal which put Robert Keeley on the map as being one of the best pedal designers of all time. It is effectively a souped up Dynacomp, but that's kind of underselling it a little bit. It sounds much nicer than most Dynacomps. Everything that you wish a Dynacomp did, this pedal does. Hello. Yes, that's the microphone I'm talking into that. And I'm talking to you too. Hey? Hey, buddy? So, <laughs> this pedal does pretty much everything that you wish a Dynacomp did. It's got a blend control so you can bring in some of your clean signal like a parallel compressor. It's got a tone setting. It's got two different attack modes for humbuckers or single coils. It's just very tweakable. Some people might find the attack switch a bit limiting because you can't fine tune it yourself. But in practice, I didn't find it limiting and I found it perfectly appropriate for humbuckers or single coils, whichever one I was using at the time. As I said, it does have a blend control so you can introduce some parallel compression, but I wouldn't exactly call this a subtle compressor. Um, it controls everything, but it controls everything in a really obvious, but in a very predictable and satisfying way. This pedal keeps everything really well controlled, so if you absolutely need to sit like within a certain dynamic range, this pedal is probably your best choice. Now despite that huge amount of control that this pedal gives you, I found the tone overall was pretty damn transparent. Um, I didn't notice any massive changes to my tone. It's also easily got enough volume that you can use it as a bit of a boost as well. Overall, it's a really great transparent sounding compressor that doesn't add or take anything away from your tone, but it just keeps everything really, really well controlled. Which, let's face it, that's what you want a compressor to do. It's very tweakable, it's very usable in a wide variety of circumstances. It's a legend for a reason.